up, people? Hey, Mike's on. That's good news. Bible Times on. That's also the best news because the Word never fails. His truth is everlasting, and we have that at our access. We have that with us 24-7, His Word, His life. Exodus chapter 17, verse 6 says, I will stand there before you by the rock at Horeb. This is God talking to Moses. Hello. It's a pretty cool relationship. Strike the rock and water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses did this in the sight of the elders uh, of Israel. And this is so powerful. One, because he's standing there with Moses. And after God's presence is there, the miracle can happen. The miracle can happen. Moses is also striking a rock. This is unbelievable that he's doing this because water doesn't normally come out of a rock like this. It's a miracle. But wherever the presence of God is, there's a miracle. So you and I, we have the presence of God in us, the Holy Spirit. So there's miracles that can happen 24-7, supernatural things that aren't supposed to happen, relationships that were divinely appointed, moments that were divinely appointed and, and created. Uh, we have an incredible art, artist drawing a massive, beautiful picture, and I love it. Uh, also in commentary that it was, was told this way, that Moses striking the rock with the staff is like Jesus being struck on the cross and the water is is basically water uh, blood is all you know you're you're made up of 70 percent water pours out for you and me which breaks the law so this was a great foreshadowing of jesus right in front of our eyes and paul even mentioned it in first uh, corinthians 10 and 4 he says and all the drink and all drank the same spiritual drink for they were drinking from a spiritual rock which followed them and the rock was Christ. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that cool? I love the hymn that says it this way. Let the walk, water and the blood from thy riven side which flowed be of sin the double cure. Save me from its wrath and power. What does this tell you and me today about God? It tells me that God is patient. God is loving because he responded to Israelites grumbling and Moses's with a miraculous water out of the rock. Not only that, saying, hey, I'm here with you. I'm in your presence. Nothing is impossible for me. I can make water come out of a rock. Uh, and, and this also tells me about God that he, he loves me. He loves me. And how am I challenged by it today? It says, I want to invite God into every situation and walk in obedience. God desires to stand with you, to be with you more closely than even standing with you. Come to him today. Invite him in and obey.